Hi guys, my name is Dan and welcome to another episode of CryptoLine. One of our main interests in the crypto space is to find projects that give a good passive income. Whether it's staking or airdrops or mining, I like to find genuinely good projects that will give a steady source of passive income. Recently, I found a new initiative by Zpin called the Gala Cloud. And when I sat down and did the numbers for this project, I was simply amazed at the ROI or return of interest. In fact, I think that this is the project that gives the highest ROI in the entire crypto space currently, and the numbers are simply mind-blowing and I wanted to share it with you. So if you want to learn more about an awesome passive income project, keep watching this video. Zpin is a blockchain platform for the creative industry. I won't go into Zpin as a project again because I've already done a video that explains the project in great detail. Feel free to check it out if you want to learn more about Zpin as a project. But Zpin as a blockchain project will have two currencies in its economy. The first is the ZPT token and the second is the Gala token. The relationship between the ZPT token and the Gala token is very similar to NEO and GAS where ZPT tokens will be the tokens used for the platform for the payments for crowdfunding, copyright services, etc. The Gala token is used as the fuel of the economy to fuel the smart contracts and it will also be the currency that will be used for the entertainment dApps, which is a very large part of a creative industry platform. It is from this Gala token that is where our interest is today, which is the source of a good and active passive income. Currently, there are two applications that will be run specifically from Gala. The first is Gala Cloud and the second is Crypto Galaxy, which is a game. And both of these um, applications have very good opportunities for a passive crypto income. For this video, I will be taking a look at Gala Cloud only and its earning potential. The reason I'm not taking a look at Crypto Galaxy yet is because even though it's a very good game, it's still in development and is due for a very big update in the next couple of weeks. So it is a good project that I do want to cover, but I'm going to wait for a couple more updates before doing a review of the game. Now coming back to Gala Cloud, what is Gala Cloud? Gala Cloud is a distributed and encrypted storage network. Think of Google Drive or Dropbox where you can store and share data files. Except where Google Drive and Dropbox are centralized servers, meaning they are single points of storage that hackers can hack, your files are not encrypted, and as a centralized server, if their server goes down, your access to the information also goes down. Gala Cloud, however, is the blockchain equivalent with all the benefits of a decentralized or rather distributed network, meaning that your data is unhackable, your data is secure, it cannot be lost, and only you and those you authorize will have true access to the storage data. As a server, it also cannot be shut down, meaning you will always have access to your data. I think that data storage is a very smart use of blockchain and many people in the space are saying that blockchain is the perfect technology for data storage and will be a game changer in the future. I totally agree with this. There are other blockchain projects as well, for example, IPFS and Storch that will offer a similar data storage feature. The difference or advantage that Gala Cloud has over these other projects is firstly, Gala Cloud is built for an existing ZP ecosystem, meaning that from the moment it's built, the other ZPIN dApps, for example, ZWrite, which is the copyright service that ZPIN offers, will be using the storage facility of Gala Cloud. Every time information is stored on Gala Cloud, Gala tokens are used. Secondly, unlike other blockchain projects that provide data storage, uh, Gala Cloud has made it super easy to mine and earn an active income. Information on the Gala Cloud will be decentralized and stored on multiple nodes called Gala Boxes. Initially, there will be 60,000 Gala Boxes, so it's really a very decentralized feature, and 60,000 Gala Boxes is only the beginning. There will be even more nodes added in the future. The layer that coordinates the data storage and retrieval process is the Gala Hubs. There will only be 49 Gala Hubs available. You can think of the Gala Hubs as a master node. 
Now, unlike some projects where master nodes will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, some even millions of dollars, and those master nodes can only be owned by institution, Gala Hubs are master nodes that can be owned by anyone. In my opinion, and I'm going to take you through this very soon, Gala Hubs will offer the best return of interest ROI that I've ever come across in the crypto space. For a Gala Hub to start, you need to stake 400,000 ZPIN tokens or ZPT tokens or above to qualify to even apply for a Gala Hub. The applications are already open and they will stay open until the 25th of August. The top 49 applicants will be chosen and at the moment only 13 people have applied for a Gala Hub. So it's still a lot of room for people to apply and uh, it's most likely if you apply now you will get it even if you stake only the minimum 400k. Now you can stake more than 400,000 tokens if you want and the idea is that the more ZPT tokens you stake the more Gala tokens you will get back when you mine it. However, in order to prevent a monopoly by a will, so to prevent a will from just dropping like 10 million Gala uh, ZPT tokens and monopolizing the profits, the team has set it such that if you stake beyond a certain number, meaning beyond a million tokens, the returns that you get begin to decrease. Which means that for smaller amounts, for example, below a million tokens, if you were to stake 800k ZPT tokens, you will likely get two times the return that if you only stake 400k tokens. But if you stake 5 million tokens, you are not going to get five times the return as compared to someone who um, stake a million tokens. The reason they um, force this trailing off of profits if you stake more is to ensure that there can be no one party that will monopolize the entire earnings. So this is a very clever and effective way to prevent decentralization that other mining processes like Bitcoin um, don't provide. Tokens that are stake will be locked in for 18 months. So this is a fancy term that they call mortgaging your tokens rather than staking, but it's pretty much the same concept. To own a Gala Hub, besides um, having a lot of tokens to stake, you will also require to have a storage space and decent bandwidth as well. Now, when we talk about staking rewards, some of the projects that might come to mind would be NEO and VeChain. These are the more popular staking projects at the moment. And I've also included figures for Dash because Dash, in my opinion, actually provides the best masternode returns that I know for for a legit reputable crypto project. If you were to go on the websites and look for masternode returns or node returns for mining or staking, you might find some projects that will offer you 400% returns in a year. But those are projects that are ranked like, you know, 1000 on CoinMarketCap that you've never heard of before. And a very high chance of those projects actually closing down over the next year. So as far as legit project goes, projects that we think will sustain and have good value in the crypto community, um, I think Dash offers the highest, which is 11%. Okay, NEO offers only 3 to 5%, and I think it's closer to 3.5% actually. And VeChain, the last time I checked for an X node, the returns are somewhere between 7 to 8%. So let's take a look at the Gala Hub returns now. Now, the capital to start staking is a minimum of 400,000 ZPT tokens. ZPT tokens at the moment is 3 cents per token, so that works out to about 12,000 USD based on the current pricing. So the minimum staking, the minimum capital you need is 12,000, which is not that much for a master node. Now, Gala Hub owners will earn Gala Hubs, or they will mine Gala tokens from two sources. Firstly, they will earn Gala from 20% of all the Gala earnings from Gala Cloud. So whatever um, fees that people pay for Gala, that will be 20% of that will be distributed among the 49 master nodes. The other um, source of income that they will have for the first year is that Zpin Foundation has recognized that in the first year, Gala Cloud may not have that large a volume of business because they are just starting, they're just building up. And so the foundation will compensate by giving 10 times the amount of ZPT, uh, ZPT tokens mortgage uh, in terms of Gala back to the Gala Hub owners. So for example, if the total amount of um, ZPT tokens that are staked is say 
uh, 50 million, right? So if everyone mortgaged 1 million ZPT tokens, 49 um, Z master nodes would be 49 million. So we round it up to 50 million. Then the ZPIN Foundation is willing to shield out from their own pockets 500 million gala uh, and redistribute it back to the hubs as an um, incentive or a bonus for the first year. So the point is, whatever if you are a gala hub, whatever you stake, you will get back 10 times that number in gala tokens back. Now, to find out whether or not Gala Hub is going to be a lucrative investment, what we need to then know is how much do we think Gala tokens will be worth. Gala is an official currency, but Gala token is not on the exchanges yet. So we don't know a formal um, value for Gala token. We can only guess it at best. There are two guides that can help us to guess the value of Gala token. The first is based on their circulating supply. Now, ZPIN did two one-to-one -one airdrops earlier this year, and ZPIN holders were given Gala one-for-one -one of in each of those airdrops, which means that the current circulating supply of Gala is roughly double that of the ZPT tokens, which means that Gala should be worth half of the ZPT tokens. So if the ZPT tokens is currently worth three cents, then Gala would be worth about one and a half cents. The second method of estimating value of Gala is through the over-the-counter, the OTC channels where people are selling Gala unofficially. So even though Gala has not hit the exchanges yet, people have Gala in their private wallets because of the airdrops and there is a demand for Gala because currently in the Crypto Galaxy um, Planet game, which I'll cover in the future, um, that Gala resource um, from the airdrops is the only way for a person to buy Crypto Galaxy game planets. So based on those over-the-counter, the unofficial or black market pricing of Gala at the moment, Gala is going between one and a half to two cents. For the sake of being conservative, for the sake of uh, estimating a lower return, let's take the lower estimate, which is one and a half cents, which is the same price that we would estimate if we were estimating based on the circulating supply. So while this is a guess, and I could be way off in my estimation, I think this is the best intelligent guess that we can have. And I think that the, a safe guess is that Gala would be somewhere around one and a half cents worth. Now, based on this value of one Gala token being worth one and a half cents, the annual earnings of a Gala hub, okay, excluding the 20%, so just the just the bonus that the ZPIN Foundation will give to Gala hub owners is about $60,000 a year. And this is only staking 400,000 ZPT tokens, okay? So we're not if you stake a million ZPT tokens, then you will get 150 USD uh, equivalent in return. This is a 500% ROI. Remember how we spoke about earlier, when we look at NEO offering 3 to 5% and VeChain 7 to 8 and Dash was 11%, which is the most that we know, Gala Hub is offering 500%. This just blows all the numbers out of the water. Even if I was way off in my estimation, even if I was off in my estimation by double, triple, even 10 times off my estimation, even if you you know, divide 500% by 10 times, it is still way above the rest of the market in terms of a return of interest. And this number is excluding the 20% earnings from the whole Gala cloud that will be distributed to the master nodes. So that's an additional earning um, thrown in on top of this 500%. So that's why I think that Gala Hub at the moment is the best return of interest master node in the crypto space for a legit project. Now, not everyone has $12,000 available to buy a Gala Hub. Okay? So for the rest of us poor people who can't buy a Gala Hub, there is the other option of buying a Gala Box. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried mining Bitcoin. If you have, you will understand that it's actually not that easy to set up a Bitcoin mining rig. 
Mining in crypto projects or proof of work tends to use a lot of electricity. Okay, it requires very expensive hardware. You can't use your normal CPU to mine. You will never get any profits out of that. You have to buy very special powerful GPUs and you have to use special ASIC mining chips and the whole rig could cost thousands of dollars to set up. And the thing is the returns are uncertain okay because they are large corporate mining farms uh, across the world so if you have a single gpu or two gpus you're not even sure if you can earn back enough bitcoin to cover the cost of setting up the rig initially and even if you got the entire hardware rig set up for thousands of dollars you have to be somewhat pretty tech savvy enough to use the mining software enough to find a mining pool to join and to know how to just set up all the numbers and software to get it even going so what i'm trying to say is that the entry bar to get into mining is very high for the lay investor that's why a lot of people don't do bitcoin mining even though they would like a passive income Okay, and that's also one of the reasons why Bitcoin mining is becoming very centralized where the big corporate farms will do the mining. Now, what if we could lower the entry cost and level to mining? So meaning we could make it so easy and so cheap that anyone could do mining. What if we could set up an efficient mining rig for a very cheap price, maybe 150 USD? and make it so easy to use that you literally just plug and play it. You don't need to be an IT expert or know how to punch in numbers. You literally almost just plug and play to use the equipment. Okay, so a mining uh, device that is low cost, low skill needed, and more than that, it will give you a predictable returns, meaning I can actually tell you how much you will roughly earn at the end of the year. On top of that, okay, I assure you that with this new mining setup, there is a cap to the participation of every individual, meaning that there is no one company or individual that can monopolize the scene by um, providing computational power for like 30 or 40 or even 50% of the network. Sounds too good to be true? Well, that setup will be called the Gala Box. Okay, so the Gala Box is the node, the, the storage node that runs for the this data storage Gala Cloud. And the Gala box, okay, as you can see here, is a very beautiful piece of equipment. It's in the aluminum casing. It looks nice. And all a user needs to do is to insert a two or four terabyte hard disk into this um, Gala box. And then the Gala box can become one of the 60,000 nodes that will help to facilitate decentralized storage of data. So just like Google Drive or um, Dropbox, they need a lot of storage space for all the data that people are uploading. So that data will be distributed across the 60,000 nodes and your two terabyte or four terabyte hard disk will be one of those nodes. So just like that, just as easy as that, someone can begin mining Gala tokens. It's a very affordable rig, okay? In fact, actually, the, the whole Gala box is free for now. You can't actually buy Gala boxes at the moment, even if you have a lot of fiat money. You can't say, I want to buy a Gala box for 1,000 USD. There is no option to buy it. Instead, they are giving free Gala boxes out to ZPT holders as a reward. So people who hold ZPT tokens are given the option currently to stick their ZPT tokens for a free Gala box. Each person is limited to a maximum of 11 boxes. So even if you are well with $10 million, you cannot um, get 100 boxes. You have to stake for only 11 boxes. That is the maximum you can have. The staking amount is dependent on what they call a crowdfunding, which happens in different rounds. So about uh, 10 days ago, they did their first round. And in the first round, uh, any user would have to stake 5,000 ZPT tokens for one Gala box. So again, um, one ZPT token currently is three cents. So 5,000 ZPT tokens was 150 USD. So that was all it took to um, stake. So you, you go on the website, you stake your ZPT tokens, and then later on when it's ready, they will send you a free Gala box. And you can stake up to 11 boxes if you wanted. Currently now we are moving into the second phase as of today, August 16. And so the lockup, fee now has gone up a little bit from 5,000 it's gone up to 5,250. So in fiat dollars, the, the equivalent is, is moved up from 150 USD to 165 USD. And then in the third phase, 
the lockup period will go up to 5,500 ZPT tokens, which will be 180 USD. So you can kind of see that uh, with each phase, the required amount of lockup tokens will increase. Now, it is important to emphasize again that you are not buying the Gala box. You are simply staking your ZPT tokens. And after 18 months, you will receive all your ZPT tokens back. So literally, you just have to lock up your ZPT tokens, but you are getting the Gala box for free. So it's a very low risk investment because you're going to get 100% of your capital back. The team will even pay for the shipping cost to send the Gala box to you when it's ready in the first quarter of 2019. The other uh, additional things that you need to run a Gala box besides a um, hard disk is that you need the internet connection and uh, power for the box. Now the team have done some testing and the amount of electricity you will need to pay for running a Gala box would be roughly around the equivalent of $50 worth of electricity in Germany. Now, how much can you earn from um, running a Gala box? The team have actually provided a table with an estimated return rate. Now, currently at the second stage of the, of the fundraising, they still have less than 500 Gala boxes, right? So if at the end of the whole um, fundraising, okay, there's only uh, 1,000 Gala boxes out there, so 1,000 nodes out there, every node would earn 10,500 gala every single week okay that that would be a crazy return now if they do max out and get the maximum uh, number of nodes out there which is 60,000 then each um token holder would receive 667 um gala tokens per week so Basically, the minimum amount that um, each Gala box holder would receive every week would be 667 minimum. Okay, the maximum you could receive from the foundation would be over 10,000, and this is what the foundation will give to Gala boxes for the first two years. So again, the first couple of years they're not sure if the uh, uh, they're still building up the customer base for Gala Cloud. So in the meantime, to make it worthwhile for people to own a Gala box, the ZPIN Foundation will fork out of their own pocket a certain amount of tokens to give away to Gala box holders. On top of this um, amount here, that is what the foundation will give to people, they will also give 70% of all Gala Cloud profits to be distributed among all the Gala box um, owners as additional profit. So now we're going to do some calculation based on the most conservative estimate. Imagine if no one, no one used Gala Cloud at all. You got zero business. So from that 70% that they will give the revenue, you get zero dollars from there. Okay, zero dollars from there. Uh, on top of that, you imagine that they hit 60,000 um, nodes. They, they max it out. At the moment, they have less than 500. So I don't think they will reach 60,000 in the first year. But just imagine that they do reach 60,000. So the minimum, the minimum earnings of a person owning a Gala box would be 667 Gala per week. And in a year, that will work out to 34,684 Gala tokens per year, which is the equivalent of if about 520 USD per year. So again, you know, for the amount that you stake at the moment, which is 165 um, USD, that's a 315% return of interest, to over 300% um, profit. And on top of the 315%, after 18 months, you will get back the 100% of your initial capital. So that brings it up to 450% uh, return of interest. So basically, if you kind of got lost in everything I was talking, all right, um, this chart is the take home message, all right? At the moment, you know, the popular staking mechanism as the staking return projects out there is NEO and VeChain, and both of these will offer less than 10% um staking returns per year, okay? Uh your bank might offer you, I don't know, maybe 3% return of interest a year, okay? Um Dash offers the most at 11%, and then you come to the Gala Cloud, okay? Where Gala Hub, which the master nodes offer over 500% return, and Gala Box um, as a node offers over a 315% return. And this is uh, a very conservative estimate, excluding all the revenues returned that you will get on top of that.
So these numbers are crazy, guys. Okay, and again, even if I'm off in my calculations by 2x, 5x, even 10x, okay. Even if you divide this profit by 10x, this project would still be one of the highest, if not the highest ROI for a legit crypto project in the space. And the thing I like most about this project is that um, unlike NEO or VeChain or even Dash, which are considered big coins, ZPIN as a project is a very small cap coin that is currently very undervalued. The market cap of ZPIN today is less than 15 million. It's only 14.5 million. So there is a lot of room to grow. I mean, if ZPIN ever became like a billion dollar um, project, which can be happen in the crypto space, then then the profits just go through the roof and people can literally become millionaires from this one project. Also, the entire ZPIN project is founded by a mother company called Arting365, which is a real creative industry company that is already up and running and already has over a million users. So this is not a project that is going to crash, in my opinion. This is a project that will succeed uh, eventually. It's just biding its time for now. So that's it for me, guys. The more I look at this project and think about this project and calculate the numbers for this project, it just seems crazy. It's almost too good to be true. I don't know. Do you guys think it's too good to be true? Let me know in the comments below what you think of Gala Cloud. Personally, when ZPIN was giving out free Gala over two airdrops earlier this year, I thought it was too good to be true and I thought that Gala wouldn't be worth very much. So I actually missed out on investing in ZPIN and getting that Gala. Uh, but people who got the Gala, uh, back in March are now selling that same gala for thousands of dollars over the counter so you know I think this project does give out very good freebies and I'm learning from my mistake and I'm personally really considering getting into at least the gala box but of course none of this is financial advice so please always make your own um, research and do your own research make your own decisions and Anything I share with you is just me sharing my own personal thoughts. It is not financial advice. So that's it, guys. Those are my thoughts on Gala Cloud. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you like this video, give us that like and subscribe. We will be doing a Crypto Galaxy review soon, as well as a few other projects that have been requested by you guys and I think are good to check out as well. So have a great day wherever you are. Take care and I'll catch you guys again next time.